Hello and welcome. I am Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritious.com and today it's about another vegetable. Wait a minute, it's not a vegetable. You call it a vegetable, but technically it's not. It's actually a fruit. Yes, but okay, I know you're gonna call it a vegetable. This is a very common vegetable. You have it all summer long. I'm gonna share with you why you need to grow this, why you need to eat this, and how to enjoy it with some fun recipes. So stay tuned to the end. But before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button, the subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, go ahead and like that page and put your comments down below and share this video with everyone you know. I am here to share with you God's recipe for excellent health and that includes what we put in our mouth for sure. But it also, I'm here to share with you the one and main ingredient and that is God loves you. God loves you. He's loved you from the moment of conception. Now, let's go in the store and check out this vegetable. I mean fruit. Yes, it's about zucchini today. Very common. You have it all summer long if you grow it in the garden. In fact, you sometimes have so much of it, you don't know what to do with it all. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about today what are the health benefits and most importantly, join me in my kitchen at the end of this video for two new recipes that I think are gonna delight your taste buds. So let's talk about nutrition first because that is what matters. Now let's just start with the grocery list of all of the nutritional value that's going to be in this and then I'm gonna share with you the top four reasons why you wanna include these squash, which yes, I call them zucchini, but technically they are a summer squash and why you need these in your diet. So let's just run through the alphabet vitamins a don't forget that's for your vision vitamin c that's for collagen that's for everything in your body to work right that's your immune system vitamin k for your blood many of the b vitamins are in these summer squash and just look at how big these are they do not need to be the small ones that we pick in our gardens but they can actually grow up to three feet long these are amazing moving on we've got manganese potassium I did a video recently about potassium and all the foods that give us potassium and why we need it. That's a very important video, especially if your doctor is telling you, hey, stop eating bananas, you've got too much potassium. You need to go back and catch that video about potassium. Then we have manganese, folate. Hey, if you want a good memory, you want healthy babies, you want folate. And here it is, right here in this delicious squash. We have phosphorus, calcium, and zinc. Who doesn't want more zinc in their diet today with all that's going on with our immune system and vaccines and all of that? So we need to have this family here of all of these summer squashes in our diet and if you could do it every week, you would so please me because I am your personal nutritionist. Now when these are cooked, which we're gonna do later today in my kitchen, we do actually change the value of the A and the C. So I want you to have some of these fresh, cut up fresh in your salad. And I want you also to enjoy them cooked because they are so delicious. Now, let's look at what they do in your body. Now let's talk bacteria. These zucchini, these summer squash, are going to help build the good bacteria in your gut. Yes, with healthy gut, we have happy days. It's that simple, that's the bottom line. So these are gonna build the good bacteria. The more we build the good bacteria, the more it gets rid of the bad bacteria. Good bacteria is going to help build the short chain fatty acid. That in turn is going to help that gut and microbiome do everything you want it to do. Remember, all disease, all disease begins in the gut. All healing, yay, begins in the gut as well. So which do you wanna build? Do you wanna eat God-designed foods that are going to bring good bacteria and build short-chain fatty acids, 
that are going to help you have mental clarity, less inflammation, better sleep, better joints, just every area of your body is going to say, that feels good. Or do you wanna eat those lab experiments that man makes and you got bad bacteria, you got inflammation, you got no sleep, you got mentally altered days. Okay, you choose. Which do you think? All right, well, I'm gonna go for a real food, which is gonna give me real health. That's what I'm going for. My husband's doctor was writing prescriptions faster than our hearts were beating with stress. Yet, could there be another way? Is there another answer? Well, that is when a friend suggested to me, Annette, go back into God's Word, start reading it differently, and start with the Daniel fast. Well, those words changed the trajectory of our lives. And 30 days later, we were prescription free, 35 pounds lighter, combined total, lower cholesterol, lower triglycerides, and we knew that God had answered our prayer for greater health His way. Now, if you are praying for an answer on how to get started, I highly recommend the Daniel Fast. First, go to the biblicalnutritionacademy.com website, click on the Daniel Fast, and sign up. It's that easy. Plus, the link will be in the show notes below. Okay, so number one is digestive wellness. The fiber feeds the good bacteria, which feeds the short chain fatty acid, which therefore goes throughout your entire body and gives you amazing days. That's number one, and that's totally good. And you know I'm all about fiber. If you haven't caught my other fiber videos, you might want to go back and check those out. So number two is it's going to help reduce blood glucose levels. For those who are pre-diabetic or already diabetic, we need lots of these in our diet. I wonder if I can make a smile. <laughs> so beyond digestive wellness and also preventing diabetes, which every food that God created is going to do, you're also gonna have a healthier heart, you're just gonna have healthier days, and you're just gonna say, why haven't I been eating more of these foods that Annette suggests every single day? Why haven't I been doing that? Why do I keep buying that processed food? Well, because you hadn't met me yet, and you needed someone like me to remind you on a daily basis, make sure you're on our YouTube channel and catching those videos every single day. So I want you to eat some, some summer squash, some zucchini, call it what you want. Get this in your diet, fresh or cooked. It's good either way. Now, are you ready to go to the kitchen and find these new recipes? For these zucchini or summer squash, whichever word you want to use, cookies, you can see I actually have a lot of ingredients here on my table. We're going to use each one of these ingredients, but in the instructions down below, I'm also going to give you some tips on how you could do it with less ingredients. I just love variety of flavor and I love to try new things. So that's what I've done with this cookie recipe. I hope you enjoy it. Now let's get started mixing. Today I'm using my Bosch Universal Plus Mixer. We're going to start with the liquid ingredients. So first we're going to add in six tablespoons of softened butter. To this I'm going to add in our yogurt. You could use a Greek yogurt. The main thing is I want it to be unsweetened. And that is one half cup. We're going to do our one teaspoon of vanilla, our one egg, and also our honey. So today I'm using three-fourths of a cup of honey. You could use a dry succinct or your favorite sweetener, but we need a little bit of the honey liquid for this recipe. So if you used partially granulated sugar of your favorite choice, and then you might wanna use a fourth of a cup of the honey. Now, as always, we have to put the lid on because I have made many a messes with this powerful mixer. I'm going to add just a little bit of our oats. We have one cup of oats. They were regular oats and I just kind of blitzed them just a little bit in the Vitamix to crumble them up a little bit. I'm just gonna put half of this in here so that we can create a little bit of a creamy texture. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in our dry ingredients. But first of all, before I add them in, I want to mix them up really well together. So I'm going to mix in our, the rest of the coconut in with, this is one and a half cups of spelt flour. Spelt just adds such delicious flavor to anything you wanna bake. I'm going to add in 
a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder. I wanna make sure these dry ingredients are blended really well. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of coconut flour. I'm excited about this because I really love the blend of flavors to add the coconut flour in. So that is one half cup of coconut flour. And then I'm adding in a fourth of a cup of cocoa because we want these to be rich and chocolatey. A whisk would work really well for this. And it looks like I have a little bit of a chunk in my cocoa powder, so I'll have to take that out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in our cinnamon. I have a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon and just an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. As you can see, this is a lot of ingredients, but oh, the flavors are just going to make your mouth say, why have I not tried this before? I took three dates and pulverized them in my food processor. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I've got a half a cup of minced carrots, and you may say, Annette, that's not carrots. <laughs> well, it is, one's purple and one's orange. I had them left over from another recipe I did for you called the Power Meal. Oh, that was so good. Let's go ahead and blend this. Okay, now we're ready for the dry ingredients. Our final three ingredients we're just gonna fold in lightly is one and a half cups of finely shredded zucchini or summer squash. One fourth of a cup of coconut flakes. We do not want the sweetened coconut, we just want the dried. And then one cup of chocolate chips. I have to make cooking for my family to enjoy, otherwise I have to give everything away that I make. So today it's all about my husband. There we have it. Now there's a trick to making cookies. Always put one cookie in the oven first and see how well it turns out before adding the entire batch, especially when you're working with new ingredients that you're not familiar with. So we have our first cookie here. It just turned out beautifully. I use this bigger scoop. Next time I'm gonna use a smaller scoop, but that is our one cookie test. So now I'm gonna go down to a smaller scoop because I want people to enjoy my cookies, but I don't want them to eat too much at one time. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up this tray. I did spray the tray first. We're baking at 350 for right around 11 to 13 minutes. Although now I've gone smaller, I will do nine to, nine to 11 minutes. Well, our zucchini cookies, our coconut zucchini chocolate cookies are done and they are delicious. So I can't wait for you to try this zucchini summer squash recipe. Now, isn't it fun discovering these foods? This isn't a new one, but maybe I've encouraged you new reasons to enjoy zucchini or summer squash in your diet every day. And it's coming into farming season, so we should be getting a lot of this at the farmer's market or at your farmer's market store, wherever you like to shop, but hopefully you're also growing it in your yard. I totally wanna encourage you to do that. Hey, I'm Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritionist.com. Don't forget to check out biblicalnutritionacademy.com where we have all of our courses where you can learn God's recipe for excellent health. Until next time.